So I'm with Paul. I've seen Paul on uh, YouTube. He's usually the face of, uh, he's the, you're the, usually a spokesperson, right? I have it, yeah. Yeah, so, so he, I, great accent. I uh, see great content, very excited. And we're going to do a bonus video or a separate video about time code because currently I'm using two Shogun Ultras and a Ninja Ultra with a third party time code. And then the co-founder said, why are you not using ours? I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't, re I didn't know about the time code. Then I <laughs> deep dive on uh, Animal's time code, especially if you own multiple ninjas, it's a no brainer, right? It is a complete no brainer. We have a whole ecosystem, which we call air glue. That's the name of our whole wireless. Which is what I see when I turn it on. Yes. I was like, why is this turning on all the time? <laughs> so basically it's called air glue. It's derived from the technology that, that came from time code systems. So a lot of people will know the time code systems products that go back eight, 10 years. And we brought out a whole bunch of products that have the super accurate time code generators and transceivers with that wireless capability, with interfacing into apps. So we were trying to bring a whole ecosystem together that's now exponentially just grown because it's now part of Atomus and it's now built in, as you said, to the Atomus connected report. And to the new items too. Yeah, and, so it's, and, and it's if, an interface. And if you're, if you're in the animals family, you might as well stick with the animals time code. Yeah, and, and, but it's also, we expand into the larger ecosystem and stuff. So let me explain, obviously on all of our connected products, you've, you've quite nicely explained that it's built into the connected products already. Which I don't know anything about. So, um, so the antenna that's on the back of our connected product, the smaller one, these are the Wi-Fi antennas. This is the air glue antennas. This Which allows me to do multi, when I hit one button, they all go. Everything triggers on record. So as well as time code and gen lock, as you say, you're getting record. But now I can get the bonus time code without having to use additional items to worry about, syncing, et cetera. So that's right. using the Shogun on the main camera, triggering these other cameras, unlimited potential, right? I could have 10 cameras if I wanted. Yeah. All time code all recording to ninjas or ultras or they're whatever. They're all time-coded, they're all genlocks. But genlocks above and beyond time code. That's an extra resolution. Which, that's talk about that. Talk genlock. about that a little bit. Genlock is a much more accurate format. That's when you're synchronizing the video frames exactly with the start of the time code. Frame. Air glue. Air, yeah. air so, glue is the name of the whole protocol. Right. So by turning that off, I'm actually dumbing down my system. You are, yeah, yeah. You are, <laughs> by, by, by putting in LTC on the audio jack or whatever, you're dumbing it down totally. So this is a so this is you have a few minutes, right? Yeah. So this is huge for me. I mean, I don't really see this on YouTube. To be honest with you, nobody. I have. I it hasn't crossed my path yet. Right. So this this is a separate video. Great. Let's talk about time code, gen lock, and your system that works flawlessly with the ecosystem. Yep. And also, you can use it for outside the animals family yes. too, which is huge. That's right. This is huge. This That's is actually. Amazing. For me, is as exciting as this. Perfect. So the, um, I mean, on, you, you're saying about record trigger as well on the Atoms devices. We actually start and stop. You probably notice we start and stop on identical frames as well, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So you end up with clips that identically match. Which makes on all of. Your, I do everything. So I, I, I do this and also the editing. Yeah. Now, of course, if you want to expand that uh, expand that ecosystem, you might be, you might want to be recording, which I'm sure you are on separate audio as well. So that's why we have other products within the Atoms family. Basically, we have the UltraSync 1. Now, the UltraSync 1 has that physical connections with LTC and GenLock. So I'm using uh, sound devices. Yep, so we could pop this straight on your sound devices, straight in the LTC port. Which that, that, that has. If your sound devices had uh, a word clock input, you could also send word clock, which would give you that extra accuracy. <laughs> have you got word clock? Uh, yeah, I, I think you have. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying this. I think <laughs> so, so you could... So this is a way of joining the air glue that's built into the Atoms products with the outside world. You could put this onto another camera that hasn't got an Ninja on the top. I mean, it allows you to, to mix and match with any camera, LTC or GenLock or WordPress. And this is very lightweight. Oh, yeah, and it, how long does the battery last? About 25 to 40 hours, okay. depending on... So if you do it, yes. Literally all day. <laughs> You've got USB power. It's very, little side note, it's very lightweight. Yeah. No one's really going to complain about that on their camera. No, no, not even one, not even one percent. We also have another product called the Old Sync Blue. Now, this so is, is this a, a newer or older? This is the current model. It's been in the market for a while, and you don't need super to, you, successful. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. If something's working great. Yeah, this is working great. 
It also goes back all of our original products that go back eight years. Everything is backwards compatible. Sweet. No matter what you have of time code systems and what you have of Atomus, everything will still work together. Cool. So basically, that has the physical connections on. We, had, we came up with this product called the Ultrasync Blue. So is this something new? Uh? This is newer. This is the Ultrasync Blue because it has Bluetooth built in. Oh. So it has the long range air glue protocol for, that works across the whole of this NAB hall, hundreds of meters, because it's sub gigahertz. This is our sort of unique benefit with our protocols. All of our stuff is wirelessly synced together, just like your, your remote trigger on your ninjas and your shoguns. It's triggered over this, this sub gigahertz unique protocol. So not very popular band. It's not, it means that you can come somewhere like this, which is so saturated for Wi-Fi and, and sometimes Bluetooth. It is. Uh, you can't get anything to work more than a few things. That's what happens. It, 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 see the audio on the iPad? Yes. Yeah, sometimes that goes in, sometimes, it, yeah, yeah. Somewhere like this, we could go into the next hall up and we'd still be getting get out of here. Really? And the antennas are built in. So it, it's insane. So this one, we thought, let's piggyback. Let's use the air glue long range time code and let's create a little Bluetooth hotspot. So it's almost code. like an extender? It's an ex it's not an extender. It's almost like creating a, a simultaneous oh, like Bluetooth a, network. Like a Wi-Fi hotspot. Yeah, it's like a Wi-Fi hotspot, but it's, a good, it's Bluetooth. That's awesome. And you can also do that from the Atomus devices as well. So you can, these can also be a Bluetooth so, hotspot. Like piggybacking or not yeah. piggybacking. Or... Well, what it means is that <laughs> what we figured was not all, not all equipment has a physical connector to put time code. Correct. In. Loads of stuff like prosumer cameras or even professional cameras or audio recorders they have Bluetooth, but they have no physical time code input. So we came up with this concept, I don't know, four years ago. And we now have the likes of, in terms of cameras, Nikon, Fujifilm, we've got others coming. How about Sony? We've got, no, uh, not yet, not yet. Come on, Sony. Please, come on. I know, Sony, Sony, Sony. <laughs> we've got audio uh, manufacturers like Zoom and Tascam. Sound they, devices? So, not yet. Come on, come, sound, come on, sound devices. They have adopted the Bluetooth protocol, so it means that we don't have to physically connect this to a wire or the Ninja. To it's the similar to the EL Zone system. It's, 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 EL Zone system is amazing. How about we just get everybody on board with that and we have a yeah. centralized system? So our figure is like they've already got Bluetooth chips in their, in their devices. Just keep it simple. There's a, there's a brand new mic by um, Instamic that has the same Bluetooth protocol. So you can. So basically, we're just expanding this ecosystem of apps. Standalone mics, audio recorders, cameras. So everyone's getting to be on the same page. Everyone's getting the same super accurate time code as everything else. You could even put this in your in your back pocket, and I could be syncing with my smartphone with the Atoms Pro camera app. How awesome is that? You know what I mean, yeah. Or, or, or the brand new uh, Ninja phone. Sweet. So we have this sort of Bluetooth long range RF, all works together. Complementary products to get into any product on the market. A nice active Atomus ecosystem for start, stop, record. And Which is what I'm doing now. That's what you're doing. So basically, I, I'm, I was, you like what I'm doing. Yeah. But why are you not using a time? That's what the, the what was this? Jeremy, the CEO. Yeah. So why are you not using our time? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know anything, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> so is there anything else? What's it? But, well, uh, I'm now going to blow your mind because. Oh, you, you blow my mind so far. Don't worry. Uh, we're, so, not, we're not sure how the medical care is in Las Vegas. <laughs> this is. Obviously, we've been talking about time code and sync and gen lock and word clock. The same bulletproof wireless protocol that's driving all of that, that, that works across all of these stadium, football stadiums and concert venues, we've now applied to lighting, right? So the new Atomus lights, the Sun Dragon, that is, they're DMX controlled. This is just a standard five pin XLR for DMX controlled yep. lights. We now have, this is, this is a prototype, this is not going to be exactly what it's going to look like. Just here in a sneak peek. But we have uh, Air Glue DMX. This is using the same long range bulletproof protocol <laughs> for controlling lights. So you will be able to not only use this Ninja for the Air Glue. Oh, so there will be a firmware update someday where you can actually just swipe and get to the. You will be get to be able to get a DMX page on here. How and cool is that? Control your Sun Dragon lights. And the color Ninja. too, right? And the cal like uh, to control it like all you from the ninja. Control it, all the light functions from uh, your ninja using a DMX. How awesome is that? Yeah, lighting, sync, time code, control. Easy peasy, right? There you go. So is there anything? Let's on the back of the. Uh, this would be this. If hopefully you guys can see it, but now he's going to teach me how to do it. 
Very simple. On the on, on here, when you go into the main menu, you'll see that there are some, the pages of interest. You probably won't be able to see this, guys, but if you've got a ninja, you've got a shogun, they're all the same. First of all, there's a time code page. So once you're getting the source for air glue sync, that means it's taking the source. So you're now on the super accurate time so code. So can I do, can I, how do I set the time? You could set the time code on here. You could, you could this up and down. Can I do it from you the, can you do it the time of day? But can it receive it? Uh, you, you, you can't set it from the camera. Okay. So you, this, you, this have to you have to manually set the time? Manually set it or set it from the time of day. It's got a real time clock in there. How, how do you jam that? And how do you do that? So we, we can just do that and, 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 and we, can, we can just use time of day. Oh, and you just basically, and then do you set, you set time code? But do you actually have to say where you are? Yes, you do. On, there's a, on the info page. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Let, let's, let's do the whole thing. Let's dive in, eh? Yes, please. Let's dive in. You're doing this for Walter. Uh, let's go to the uh, date. Here we are. So time zone. So at the moment, it's it's got network time set already. But here you say, you see this up and down. Oh, okay, I got you. Time, no, okay. Where you set your time. Thank you. So you can basically pick Los Angeles. Yeah, and then time of day, Los Angeles. 24 o'clock, which I like. Yeah. Okay, so first step. Go to the date. Yeah. Uh, pick your region or your location. Yeah. For us in the United States, we're in Los Angeles time. Yeah. First step. Set to time code. And then now we go back to the time code page. So we we'll yep. go to the time code page. And then basically you're Set done. Time code, time of day. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's done. Oh, so in other words, <laughs> you guys are going to chastise me, but you have, he's been very kind to me. He, has, he, he didn't say it was a fault. kind and he said, come and talk to me. Yep. And I'm now. So now basically what I'm doing is I'm using third party time code, yeah. which now I have to sync. I'm almost crying. I know. And it's in the whole time of this show. It's been been it's been built into my animals products. Yes, you could have had accurately time code in general per frame recording but to the frame. Is there anything else we should so what yeah, so, so so there's three tabs here. Once we go on to sync config, that's when we decide which the way the system works is you choose one um, server, if you like, or master sort of unit. How, how about here's one for you. How about I, I shoot a twenty nine point nine uh you know do you have to set that to that? No, it automatically picks that up from your camera. Thank you. That's, that was a question, so, right? Which is takes all that full. So I have to do that manually with yeah. the third party. We don't need to do. Oh, that. so auto pod, So through your SDI or your HDMI, it knows you're at twenty nine point nine. Twenty nine seven. Okay, that's huge, right? Yeah. So I don't, that's another step I don't worry about. That's one pain point gone. Okay, good. Yeah. What else do we have to do? And then we just decide. Let's. Yeah. This, this is going to be the master. Master. Uh, yeah. We just turn the, it on. The server. That's the server. Yeah, that's the server. And you have the we put client. On. Whatever channel you're on, we select the same so, channel. So that's this. So this camera right here is the server. Yeah. And these two cameras are the client. Yeah. And, and what channel are you on? Yeah. We, are you me? No. Uh, yeah. Come on. Twelve. And then we we turn it on, and then we 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 then be picking up your time code. <laughs>